I think cakes are having a bit of a moment right now and embracing new ideas, um, especially ones that aren't just clawingly sweet or just covered in sprinkles, maybe sweet with a spice, sweet with an herb, sweet with um, layers of flavor to it expanding this idea of like bringing fresh flowers and asymmetrical design and people are really drawn to a new style of cake and I'm all for it. Hi, my name is Anna Gordon. I am the founder, chef, and CEO of The Good Batch Bakery based in Clinton Hill, Brooklyn. I'm gonna be building a desert watercolor cake right now, which is, yeah, inspired by really a sunset in the desert. And it's built with um, a palette of this just light um, peach pale sienna um, and this more fuchsia and a yellow. The ombre of colors on the inside of the cake as well. A lot of it was just kind of trial and error to see how I wanted it to look in my own style. And I'm gonna leave the top open because you'll see how I'll take the, all the, the frosting from the side and put it onto the top. So that's where we start. <laughs> it makes me happy, it evokes an emotion. These watercolor cakes are, are just very exciting to me because I get to incorporate sort of my artistic style directly into a product. And then there just becomes a point where it's like, okay, that's it. Like <laughs> don't, it. don't touch it. Spatula down. Spatula down. The Good Batch Bakery is primarily a cookie bakery specializing in American baked goods. We do cookies, ice cream sandwiches, and cakes. I think our philosophy is just is making really good food that people crave and want to come back to using uh, real good ingredients, natural ingredients, um, making cookies that are hearty and memorable and and putting as much effort into a cookie as say, as someone would maybe put into like a three quarts meal. Certainly our ice cream sandwiches um, in particular, they're, I think what makes them so special is that they are a bit of a plated dessert in a sandwich form. This is our coffee macaron ice cream sandwich with a tahini almond macaron cookie, coffee caramel buttercream, coffee ice cream, and crushed espresso beans. I love ice cream sandwiches, I always have. This is clearly, I'm clearly a Chipwich fan. This is very much an homage to that. This is a lemon buttercream on top of a confetti birthday cake cookie. So each of these pucks gets rolled into sprinkles. Yeah, when, when I was developing an ice cream sandwich, I really had the whole experience in mind. I wanted to make sure that when you bite into the sandwich that you're getting the crunch of the cookie with the soft melt of the, the ice cream. And it was really important that the ice cream didn't melt before the cookie. So the, the whole thing is kind of coming to room temperature at the same time. There's no dripping, there's no spludging. When I started the, the Good Batch, it was in 2010 and I was fresh out of pastry school. And I wanted to, I knew I wanted to start my own cookie company. I am such a cookie lover. It's, it's just always been something close to my heart. And I was specifically baking my own recipes. I was really fascinated by the baking science and developing, taking a recipe that I thought was interesting and kind of going on a journey with it. 
and and bringing it to somewhere else that was um, that I hadn't seen before. Um, I really like as much as possible to when I'm doing something colorful like this to have um, to kind of put in a couple different colors. So this is like a, an orange and it blends into a yellow and. Um, and I find that the, the messiness gives it a little bit more of a natural look. It's a olive oil cake, and on the inside is a strawberry cream, which is a strawberry curd that I folded in with fresh whipped cream. And then they're topped with these colorful petals and leaves that is actually a lavender Italian meringue buttercream. Yeah. All right. So with this new cake menu, I knew I wanted to freshen up what we're doing. And I started with our existing cakes and, and really just took everything that we're already doing and, and elevated it. I brought in new technique. I brought in new flavors. And I really wanted to have a cake that was untraditional, both to our existing menu and also cakes in general. And um, the top, I just had a lot of fun with. Uh, so this is a new cake. It's a brown butter caramel cake. And it is a vanilla cake layers with caramel, a house-made blackberry compote, brown butter buttercream, crunchy little bits of um, our brown butter cookie. We take and turn it into a little bit of a crumb and I wanted to bring in um, a bit of a sharper flavor to it, which was the blackberry. I wanted something to, to, to kind of play with those flavors and give a little more dynamic and dimension. Mm. 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 Yeah. I don't stop, stop to eat these often in its composed form. Mm. This would make a very delicious wedding cake. And then there's a little bit of saltiness from the, the cookie crumb, which is really nice too. It's a really good cake. <laughs> I am kind of always drawing ideas out and painting and drawing for me, it allows me to take these ideas, which are often very visually based, and then put them down on paper. And as someone who loves to wander in the woods a lot, I think I can draw inspiration from, from nature more. I can draw inspiration from being in an art museum and seeing things on the wall and incorporating that into, um, into buttercream. <laughs> It's been a really fun process. In fact, it's probably been one of the most fun creative projects I've done with The Good Batch. Ooh, pretty. Oh. That's all for this episode of Food Curated. I'm Liza DeGia. Be sure to connect with us on social media and eat more stories. I'll see you next week.